Ombutel extensions module. To reach extensions, we'll go to PBX, extensions, and again extensions, and we reach the extensions dialog. This is how it looks. Note that it's split into two parts. The first one is the actual extension, and the second one is device. In Ombutel, a device and extension are two separate entities where extension would be the actual user and all uh, the user's permissions, and the device is uh, related to the physical device. Note that you can create an extension without device, if you choose none, or you can create a device without extension, which we'll talk about in hot desking module, or you can create an extension and have the device uh, be created automatically, which is what we're going to demonstrate now. On top, you have the tabs. As always in Ombutel, the main things will be in the general tab in the first one that you see, uh, and everything which is mandatory in order to uh, define the specific item, extension in this case. On the right side, as always in Ombutel, we have the list. So when you will have a list of extensions, it will be on the right side. The list is uh, searchable by either name or number. And we're going to create a new extension now that does not exist in the system, 7001. Uh, you can see in the list that it does not exist. So the minimum we have to do in order to create an extension is to create an extension number and give it a name. OK, now note when I type the extension number, first of all, I see the available uh, users, but Another thing is that this field, the uh, device user, is auto-populated. This is to make my life easier. Uh, as you see, the uh, password is also automatically generated, so I will not have to do anything to create a device. Let's give this guy a name. And that's it. Extension, name, and we're done. Okay, we have to reload the system. And now we can see our extension in the list. It's active. We can make calls. We can we have a device connected to it, so we can uh, connect a SIP phone to it and start making calls. Additional features. Here we have an email address, so we can get messages uh, notifications by email. Let's set up an email address. Internal and external ID, we have a name and number. Account code, this can be used later on uh, for filtering CDRs. For example, I have different divisions or different projects we're working on and we want to uh, filter CDRs so we can create different uh, account codes and then filter by these account codes and uh, the ID number. Voicemail tab is very straightforward. We'll go into that in the uh, voicemail video module, uh, but again, very straightforward, nothing complicated here. Same with recordings. I can set for each extensions what is going to be recorded, outgoing, incoming, internal, or on-demand recordings. Let's put on-demand recordings for uh, David. And dictation. I can dictate something to my extension and then get it, for example, by email. I can enable or disable it, set up uh, the, the file format for it, and whether or not I want it to automatically send me an email. Under advanced, we have various uh, parameters. Here we can set up ring times, call limitations, various dialing options, internal auto answer, enable or disable, music on hold class, if I have more than one, uh, call screening, that's if I want to know who's calling before I answer, secretary extension. So if I'm using um, boss secretary mode, I can choose which is the secretary uh, connected with this 
specific user. We'll go into a boss secretary mode in a separate video. Fax format enabled, yes, no, and automatically send email, generate hints for uh, certain types of phones, allow call completion, block spy me. Basically, this extension cannot be uh, listened to unless it's uh, if it's on yes, okay, so yes is blocked, no is normal, um, and send caller ID, yes. User portal, each user has a portal, which will show in a different video, and uh, I can choose whether or not to grant access, and if we do, we'll have to set up a password. By default, the user username for portal will be the extension number. Here I can choose an image. As you noticed, all the uh, extensions by default are Ombutel trees, but we can, of course, select a different image and uh, actually see pictures of the uh, people connected with the extensions. Follow me settings. Uh, we can create a list of extensions or numbers to be followed or to send calls to, uh, ring times, ring time, we can set how much time it's going to ring before uh, being sent to follow me, music on hold class, and uh, all the prompts that are going to be used. A nice feature in Ombutel is where you can choose prompts. Here we only have the uh, default one, but let's choose it and you can always listen to it. So. So you can actually hear the uh, prompt that you're that you've chosen. Follow me option, uh, caller's name, disable, please hold prompt, and playback incoming status, and contact info. Again, this is going to be used by uh, certain types of devices. That's it. That's the extension module. Very simple to use. Let's update it. Reload, and we're done. Now we can see smiling face over here, and we have our extension ready. That was the extension module. Thank you very much.